Hi, everyone. Again, um, I miss you all. I want to do another story this week. Um, this week's story is about a little boy who, like many of us right now, decided that he needed to change his world. Um, he couldn't do a lot of the things that he used to do. Um, and so, but he still wanted to be happy. So he made a few changes in the way that he saw the world. Um, and all of a sudden, he was having just as much fun as before. So um, I hope that you can enjoy this story and um, read along with me and then talk to other people in your lives about how maybe you can change your world a little bit to have just as much fun as before, but in a different kind of way. All right. I hope that you enjoy. This week's story is called The Up-Down Boy. There was, there once was a boy who noticed that people had become very, very sad. And of course, this made the boy very, very sad. He tried to make the people laugh, but no matter what wonderfully silly face he made, no one would smile. It was a sad world he lived in. It was then the boy made a magical discovery. His discovery was made in the simplest of ways. He had bent over to pick up a ball. As he was bent over, he saw the world through his legs upside down. It looked like people were walking on the ceiling. What had been up was now down. The long, sad frowns of the people, now upside down, looked like great big smiles. The boy had found an up-down world. So he placed his hands on the floor and lifted his legs high in the air. His hands and arms did what his feet and legs had done so well before. Excited, the boy began to explore his new up-down world. Now what used to be up was down, and what used to be down was up. The floor was the ceiling, and the ceiling was the floor, and frowns were smiles. He was the up-down boy. There are good things and bad things about being an up-down boy. There is good and bad about up being down and down being up. There was used gooey gum that used to be down but now was up. Up gooey gum stuck to the boy's down hand. This was a bad thing. Puddles that used to be down now were up. Puddles were always a lot of fun, but little boys got in trouble when shoes walked in puddles. Shoes were hard to clean. Now that down was up, mud puddles felt squiggly good. Dirty walking hands could easily be cleaned. This was a good thing. The cat that used to be down now was up too. The cat thought the up down boy was funny. No more rubbing on the little boy's legs that could kick and bump. Now the cat rubbed up down boy's cheeks and nose. Tickly, tickly nose. Oh, 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 kichu. The puppy that lived down the road was the fastest and slickest licker around. Now that down was up and up was down, the puppy had never had so much to quickly lick. He had much to lick now that he was nose to nose with the up down boy. Oh, yuck. Dinner time came. Still, the up down boy was where up was down and down was up. The table and chair were up, so the boy put his head down on the chair. He tried to eat from the table that now was up instead of down. It would have been much easier had the boy had a sandwich or a bit of fruit. There was no sandwich, there was no fruit. There was only a bowl of up soup. The boy tried to down the soup. Oh, what a mess. The up down day went faster than fast. Finally, it was time to go to bed. The boy started to put on his pajamas. Oh no, now down was up and up was down. And what went where and how? 
pajama tops went on the bottom, which used to be the top. The bottoms, which were now the tops, covered the boy's head. It was all very confusing. Worse than worse, people were frowning again. Their faces were turned upside down. The little up down boy tried to make the people laugh, but no matter what silly face he made, no one smiled. They could only frown. And so the up down boy went right side up. Now that now what was down was down and what was up was up. Although he was now right side up again. This story doesn't end going down. There was a surprise waiting for the up down boy after he went right side up. What had seemed to be frowns were really smiles in this right side up world. The people had smiled when the up down boy had muddled through the puddles. They laughed when he slurped his soup. The people had forgotten for a time what had made them sad in our up down world. The end. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's story and I'm hoping that you can find someone to talk to about um, the changes that you are going through. All right, see you next week.